Hi, and welcome to this video about USC Bypass. So before we talk about USC Bypass, let's talk about what is UAC, or User Access Control. When we use a Windows machine, even if we have admin rights, we still use a standard user. However, when we do decide to perform an action that requires higher privileges, we have to pass something called the UAC. So we'll start off as a regular standard user and we ask to do something called privilege elevation. In other words, we want to perform an action as an admin. And this is where UAC kicks in. We will be prompt to either say yes or no, or in some cases, even put in the password to make sure that we have the proper credentials. Now this means that if there is a malicious actor on the machine itself, trying to perform actions in the background and trying to invoke admin privileges, UAC will pop up and give us a chance to block the unwanted malicious operation. Now before we get into the demo, we need to know the FOD helper or the features on demand helper. We're not going to get into the inner workings of FOD helper, but it's enough to say that it's a feature that is designed to make it easier for us to add features to Windows. Now there are a few interesting things about FOD Helper that we can use to our advantage. Number one, it's built into Windows, so we don't have to download it or bring it with us. It is a known built-in Windows process. Now FOD Helper requires admin rights. It needs to be able to perform operations on the operating system that requires a higher privilege than a regular user. Another interesting fact is that FOD Helper comes with high integrity level. What we're going to do is use that high privilege and use it to our advantage. Now before we'll see what's in store in the demo, we also need to know that FOD Helper is trying to read certain values from registry. We'll get to that later on. So here's what we're actually going to do today. We're going to take a regular user and we're going to elevate the privileges. And we're not gonna go about this the normal way and get through the UAC. Instead, we'll use FOD Helper and it's high privilege. We're going to exploit the design flaw in FOD Helper that makes it go into registry and ask for a certain value. And in a way, we will bypass UAC. Eventually, what we'll get is a command prompt. That command prompt will have high privileges because those privileges are inherited from the parent process, in our case the FOD helper which has high integrity. So let's get to it. So I have a fully patched Windows 10 machine and I have Windows Defender with real-time protection updated and enabled. Now we also have Process Explorer running so we can get more information about what's going on. And in the interest of time, I've written down all the operations that we were about to perform and we're going to go through them step by step. Now the first thing that's worth noting is that we can't simply put in a call for cmd.exe as a registry value. We will be blocked by Windows Defender. However, there is a very easy workaround. All we have to do is copy cmd to another folder, rename it, and then it's just like any other process. So let's start by doing that. I'm going to open up PowerShell. Now I am using PowerShell as a regular user. And as you can see, I have low privileges. Now the first thing we're going to do is simply copy CMD to the desktop and rename it 123. And there we go. Now we have to create the items that Fod Helper will search for in the registry. So you can see that I'm putting these into current user, so it shouldn't be a problem. I can do this with the low privileges that I currently have. And now it's time to create a new property. And now we're gonna set up the item property. And please note this path here is setting the value to this directory into 123.exe. 
so that's it. Now instead of adding new features, let's just invoke the Fault Helper process. And here we go. So we have this command line. It says 123.exe, but it is a command line. And let's check out my privileges. And I can see that I have pretty high privileges. Now if we go to Process Explorer, and search for the process, so there it is. And we can see that my integrity level is high. And just like that, I can perform any action as an admin without invoking UAC. I can create a reverse shell, I can encrypt the endpoint, I can do pretty much whatever I want at this point. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for this video. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notifications about our new videos just as they come out. We'll see you next time.